Good morning. So this morning while having coffee and listening to bird song, I have been cracking hickory nuts. And they're a tough nut to crack. So last night, I put them in a tin can, had some holes poked in it, put the nuts in it, put them on coals, scooped some coals on top. We'd kick the can every now and then with a stick and hit the can and roast them ishly. But uh, I'd pull them out, dump them out, rearrange them, put them back in, and did that several times for about 30 minutes. And what I come up with was roasted hickory nuts. Percentage of them aren't any good, a worm has got into them. A couple are charred and others are fantastic. It's not a major food source, and but it's a delight. A little oil, some protein, great tasting nut. It's a little bit of work, but it's worth it for the neat treat that you get. So here I will show. Roasted hickory nuts. You can see from the coals, the nuts a little dirty, a little burnt, but the way that works is set them down and give them some good little tapping with the tomahawk, and that splits. The husk. The husk is practically, you know, uh, squirrels have a hard time getting it off when it's green. But this one still has a little bit of green to it, less roasted than perhaps some of the others. But then the husk comes off. So put that in a pile. with the husky ones and do it again. Some light tapping. The husk wants to split. And the husk comes off. So they are a process to harvest and eat. With oatmeal would be fantastic. A lot of work. This one to split while roasting so let's take a look see if it is charred. Actually no, not completely charred. You see the the nut in there. So I'll set that to the side and pass these. So off goes the husk. A large tin can and be able to put so many in there, put a rock or something in the opening, and roll the can back and forth on the fire, on the coals would probably roast them better. So let's get to working on this nut. Inside, smaller than a walnut, but there is the tasty meat of the nut and it's wrinkled in and around the hard shell so getting it out can be a challenge but the hickory is a fantastic nut I have not come across the bitter hickory that is unedible uh, I've heard about it but every time I have hard if harvested any hickory nuts I have gotten the sweet ones the shag bark and sweet delicious but a tough nut to crack right. you don't get a lot but what you get is a neat flavor yes the walnuts are bigger and better uh, even the young walnuts are easier to get out of their shell than the mature hickory. So let's see. Now cracking the the shell. Kind of a process for a little bit. So 
So let's see. Comes apart on the inside the shell, but you can see the bits of hickory nut woven in there. And the only way I've ever gotten them out was the point of a knife and pry out the little morsels and enjoy. Yeah, I've got some charcoal on my fingers and it won't kill me. Uh, but just if you have the time, the time and you want the benefit of the nut, It's a great food source, but there again, it's time consuming. So that's the only thing. But if you can spend the time and you can enjoy a great treat, a for a food source, it's just a treat. It's a labor intensive treat. But it is a good food source. They don't always come out that nice in halves. Mm. But a very sweet, pleasant nut. Kind of reminiscent of a walnut in flavor. But the hickory is a great nut. Hard to crack though. The tree's hardwood too, but it really is some fine eating. Roast them at night, let them cool, crack them in the morning. Uh, if you if you want to do it that way. Shells are kind of tough. You see the nut in there. Getting getting the booger out and not hitting too hard and winding up with nut pate. So some are easier than others. But it's also the roasting method. Uh, in a tin can over a fire, it's a little harder than per se the oven, but I don't have an oven. I have a scavenged tin can and a fire. But fantastic morsels. So let's see. Shelled hickory nut, tomahawk, little cracks. Fantastic. Hard to get it out of there. If crack any more, afraid I'd wind up with some 
nut pate. But I can pretty much get large bits out. And enjoy the the hickory nut. Really is a great flavor. Really is a great flavor. I don't know. Unless I'm just sitting. If I were cracking, save for later. The squirrels do a number on the on the nuts, and then worms get a few of them, and if I was sitting in camp all day with truly nothing to do. Uh, You could crack up a bunch of them and save them till later. Uh, but they're tough not to crack. A little dry. Let's see. Hmm. Still good. If you ease them along and you find the hickories, you can throw a bunch of them in your pocket. Yeah, you can crack and eat them green. I don't know if I'd fill my belly up on green nuts, but uh, they are not as sweet when they're green. Squirrels eat them that way. When you have the time, that's the only thing. See the nut up in there, but getting it out. That is the challenge. Sometimes they come out very nice. Other times, uh, Not so nice at all. But just nice little morsels. Tasty little morsels. Actually, darn good. When you get one that was pretty much roasted to perfection, it's outstanding. I think the commercial value of the hickory nut would be exceptionally expensive because cracking the little booger out there and the small amount that you get. But it's truly, truly a pleasure. That one's a little dry. When they're dry, they come out pretty easy. 
they're not as flavorful. If I look hard, I'd probably find a wormhole. This one seems to want to open. Let's see. Oh, not so perfect. Sometimes. Tasty. But there's a lot of wild food out there. Nuts are just a part of it. And they have the oil, protein. Gives the mind something to do. It's actually kind of pleasant to sit here. And it's last night. Roasting the nuts and I had the time, the energy, not having to devote myself uh, for another food source because this is a minor food source, strong uh, enjoyment source. But you can enjoy, you can enjoy things. I wish I knew a better way to open them up, but I don't know a better way. Too bad about the chestnut plight. That was that ruined some good food source. Uh, the good stuff. So. I think the squirrel fights just as hard to get to it. And some of them are harder than others. Some of them are sweeter than others. Roasted hickory nuts. A fantastic treat. So, I use tomahawk. This seems to fit what I'm doing. Gentle cracks. And hope for the best. They are tasty. If I was not alone 
and could concentrate different food sources, one person could crack up a bunch of hickory nuts and another person finds something else. And you could come up with some tasty little dishes. But one tree here or there won't feed you long. And a pocket full is just a treat. But not sure on the calorie count of hickory nuts, but they're probably right there with walnuts when it comes to oil, sugars, and protein. I don't really have internet out here to look it up. But. They are good. They are good. I have come across a walnut tree nice walnuts, rich soil, and crack them and use them with oatmeal and had a nice treat with wild nuts and some good old fashioned Quaker oatmeal. The instant stuff is good, but it seems like the good old cooks in one minute Seems to give me more energy. Like I find more energy out of oatmeal than I do grits, for example. And I love grits, but uh, just could be me. But not enough and too time consuming to pick them out to throw them into. Oatmeal, it seems to me that probably use all the energy opening them than you get from, from them. So, unless you had a bunch of them, and I don't know. Kind of rambling about it, but that's this morning some cowboy coffee. And hickory nuts. It is just good stuff. <laughs>